So if you guys are unfamiliar, um, usually opening the, the uh, pretty much since the beginning of this channel, I open the Mega Tins every year, but last year I actually opened a couple at Locals and never actually brought it to you guys. So this is going to be a tradition every year on the channel. We will open two Mega whatever two of each, one of each Mega Tin, and I'm going to continue it, and it is going to be an every year thing. I really felt bad about not opening my pulls from last year because. They were quite good, um, but uh, it tends to be an off and on thing, and this is pr probably the year I don't pull well, but again, we will see. Usually, two years ago, on in my first Megatons ever I opened, I pulled an Exitonite, and uh, the next year I think I pulled three Sky Bases, and the year before, I pulled, last year I pulled a Silent Strike, and pretty much every card I pulled was good. I pulled a Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, I pulled a Triplesia, I pulled a Cyber Dragon Infinity that I still use to this day, and just good pulls across the board. So, first we're going to open up the UV tin. So, I'm going to pull that out. So you have the promos, and the, um, then the tin, and that open. Extra space to store cards. Pretty much everyone does that anyway, so we'll go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Alright, so we get the promos here, so everyone gets these promos, so it's actually the first time I've seen the um, Ultra Pot of Desires in held it in my hand, so it'd be kind of interesting. Alright, so we have the Secret Rare Dark Magician. Um, it looks quite nice. Uh, it's definitely, I like, I do like the art, I do have, it, it looks pretty cool. I do like my um, Secret Rares I do currently have, The but the, I definitely do like the artwork. With the Proxy Dragon, I feel like if you, um... Honestly, I feel like this card is good enough to warrant the Mega Tin purchase on its own, but then we have the Pot of Desires. Um, it's definitely not a bad Ultra, but I definitely do. <laughs> I'm a little partial to my Secret Rares for sure, but it is good that it is a promo now so everyone can have it. We have the Rebarian Shark. It's a little interesting little card. Um, and then we have Dreamland and a token. Dreamland's an interesting card. I just feel like that whole, you know, Elder Entity stuff is kind of gone with Norden Van, which is kind of sad, but he earned it, I think. Anyway, we have our first Mega Tin. Let's go ahead and see what we get. All right, we have a Chris Trollic Potential, a Zodiac Ram Ram, a Shino Bird Pigeon, a Scape Ghost, Ninja Art Notebook, a Superhero Card. And for our first Super, we have the infamous Rapier. Oh, nice! We have a totally awesome our secret rare. I actually have been needing to get one again for my dynamis. It's actually a good pull. We have the Stardust Silver Dragon. So overall, you know, that's actually for a first pack. That's actually pretty good. So maybe we've broken our curse of maybe for a rare. We have the Super Heavy Samurai. We have Perform Pal Change Giraffe. A Rank Up Magic Cipher Ascension. A Raid Raptor Booster Tricks. A Perform Pal Flip Hippo. A Metal Flow Seal and a Fright for Sanctuary. So that's overall that's not bad for a first set of secret. Uh, for a secret rare pull. I actually did need one so I could a couple so I could update my dynamis list for you guys, and that's definitely going to make that happen for sure. Then we have Master Eyes of Blue, good card. Actually, I know I don't want to be that guy, but I thought it was good before it was good. We have Symphonic Query Guitars, Read Dice Cycle, Metro to the Gnome, Can Can TR, I don't know how to say that. Form Power Radish Horse, and for our super we have a Priestess with the Eyes of Blue, and then for a secret we have a Broad Bull, <laughs> Broad Bull coming back again. <laughs> I pulled one in my, and then we have True King, Agnimazad, the Vanisher, the not so good True King. We have Crimson Knight, Trilly Box, Danim's Ankylos, Big Sahana, Christron Impact, Mass Warp, and Shinobar Calling. So overall, it's actually pretty good so far. Not bad. Um, I will say, um, Broad Bull was actually the secret rare I pulled in my Ra Raging Tempest uh, box as well. The card definitely likes me. It's telling me to build zoos, but I won't ever go to the dark side. <laughs> then we have uh, Digital Bug Web Soldier, Met Canal Archfiend, we have Cyprian Accelerator, Dynamiscus Zodiac Combo, uh, Gofu, good common reprint. And for our Super, we have Bank Reprint. And for our Secret, where we have Magician's Navigation. And we have that shitty DDD card for Ultra Rare. <laughs> I'll put it over here, but like I feel like ripping up right now. It's so bad. Chinaberg, Cypher Bit, uh, Form Pal, Hand Sakoon, Cypher Ascension. And a Zodiac Bunny Blast. But this card is this card's trash. Throw it over there. <laughs> but I believe that is all for our opening Megaton. So we didn't do too bad. We did get a um, did get a Broad Bull and a totally awesome. We got some pretty decent secret rares. Um, this navigation is also not the misprints. A lot of the uh, mis um, some of these barrages navigations and Megatons were misprinted. I think they were missing like a um, card or something. 
Oh, we'll go ahead and give me a minute to actually get this thing open. Do, 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 do. There we go, I got it. <laughs> Took me a minute. Alright, and for our second Mega Tin, so we have the same thing, it's three Mega Packs and two promos. So we have the uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is actually the first reprint I've seen in a while of the art from Legend of Blue Eyes, which is a very old set. But that Dark Crown Trick of the Entities already kind of soiled my experience. But we'll go ahead and see the promos in this one. Then we'll see the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's very, very nice. I do like the artwork, although I still prefer like the original Kaiba artwork to me. Proxy Dragon, the Pot of Desires, the uh, second one. We have the, I don't remember what this one does. It's like a, oh yeah, it like can turn off grave effects since rank eight. And we have the Entis. This is actually one of the cards a lot of people were waiting on. And we have the Kaiba token. Entis is a very cool card. I just feel like, I feel like it's kind of coming, it's one of those things that's coming a little too late. Like it would have been good if it had come out when a uh, grass was at three for sure. So for our first Mega Pack. Have a Cypher Twin Raptor, a Revolving Switchyard, a Red Gardener, a Sprite Blessing, a Terrible Shadal Support Trap Card, a, a Magician's Rod, and for our Secret Rare, we have a Starving Venom Fusion Dragon and a Fire Another Fire True King. Um, I have the original art, and it, the, the Secret Rare definitely does not look bad, but I kind of prefer like. Also, I noticed that the dark on this one isn't boily like some of the other ones. And then we have a Tenery, we have a King Scarlet, the Bug Matrix, Form Pile Change Draft, Nuffle Ceiling, Fire Percent Crystal Impact. Starving Venom over there. Starving Venom, Starving Venom is a card I've been playing in, uh, around with my Pelham Magician list. I definitely do like the card. Uh, and it's definitely not a card I'm never going to say no to. But I definitely am looking forward to getting those alternate arts in uh, the deck collection. And we have the Unified Front, the Zap Mustang. Master with the Eyes Blue, Dustbot Base, Pornfall Gungaga, Speed Gun Prize. For a Super, we have a Pre Preparation of Rights, very, very good secret rare. We have a Z Ooh, Zodiac Barrage, and God damn. Another, another uh, Dark Contract with the whatever. But overall, it's actually pretty. But um, I have a two year, a couple years ago, I pulled three um, Sky Bases from one set of 10. So definitely hoping we don't, for our last pack here, we do not see another one. Let's see if that Barrage. Yeah, Barrage is that's not the misprinted Barrage. We have a Christian, a Forbidden Dark Contract Swamp King, a Middle of Steel, a Zodiac Sign, a Ninjutsu Art Notebook, a, and we have a Whip Tail for our Super Rare, and we have a Foolish Barrel Goods, very, very good Secret Rare to pull. Definitely something card I've been wanting, and we have the um, Bad Masterpiece. <laughs> no, don't, not going wrong, this thing came a little too late. It's a good card, but there's no way to summon it. Now we have the Kaiju, no one, it's not really a Kaiju, Dynamis Spinos, Sponic Warrior Synthesis, a Dynamis Eruption, a, a Zodiac, and a Ritual Beast Return. What is up guys, today I'll be opening up two Megatons. So anyways, to recap you guys, we have the, for our six Super Rares, we got a Pre-Preparation Ranks, which is always good. We got a Fan Cup Yankee, we got a Zodiac Whip Tail, two Zodiacs, a Rap here, got a Rod, a Priest of the Eyes Blue. For our Ultra Rares, we got two of this terrible DDD card. We got two Agnemizants, not really the Best True King. We got a Starter Surfer, Divine Dragon, and a Master Beast. So not really not the best Ultra Rares. But for our Secret Rares, we actually did, think we did pretty good. We got a Broad Bull. We got a Totally Awesome, Magician Navigation, Foolish Braille Goods, Zodiac Barrage, and a Sorry of an Infusion Dragon. So let me know how you guys think I did down in the comments section below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. It's Warstorm, signing out.